Okay, so I'm making a video here to show how to do a new call a quantum stockpile. So you see here there's a whole lot of logs in this one place with a little feeder going into it that's a 5x2. I'm going to show you how to build a new one of those. So I've got an initial stockpile built here. There's a whole bunch of these arrows. I'm going to create a new place to, to put all of these arrows. And I'm going to build it right here. So I'm going to create a new arrow, 5 by 2 Something to it, start the game up. Let my dwarves come over and dig that. Hopefully it won't take too long. This fort's been going for a couple of years now. Maybe it will take a while. Dwarves feel like they're doing a lot of other stuff other than dig. I guess I'll show you some of the other stuff that's going on while they're thinking about doing that. So I've got a lot of quantum stockpiles set up. You can see here's uh, a lot of different types of blocks coming in. Uh, here is all of my fuel and going into one, and here's all my non-fuel. These are all non-metallic blocks, so I have a non-metallic input here in the 5x2. Uh, just the fuel is going over to this one. Everything else that's non-metallic goes here. Over here is my metallic blocks. I have all my steel going into this one. Everything that's not steel going into this one. So you can see you got a lot of copper and iron over there. Uh, you can see here, here's a, a weapons. Uh, I currently have masterwork and artifact weapons going here. Non-masterwork and artifact weapons going here. There's a whole lot. Still a lot of steel battle axes there. And here I have just my picks. So I took picks out of that. Uh, the reason I do that is because I melt back down a lot of these steel battle axes because they're not masterwork yet. Um, so they put them on my, my melt list and, and get them working back. And then my weaponsmiths will rebuild them again. And that'll just loop until I start getting masterwork weapons. All right, so we dug this out. Now I can start showing how to build a new one. So we down, go down here to the stockpiles create a new stockpile, put it in the 5x2, I'm going to go accept that up at the top, and I'm going to make this ammo, so I'm making an ammo stockpile. Now if I wanted to, to filter it out to different stuff, not to all ammo, I could come to custom here and, and go into some of these sub menus. I'm not going to do that for this time, I'm just doing all ammo. Um, this little button right here for the barrels and bins and that kind of stuff, you can see that there's 10 bins. I'm going to get rid of all of those. Get rid of the bins, get rid of the barrels, no wheelbarrows, don't need any of that for the arrows. So I'm done on that. And I'm done with that one. And I'm going to create another one, that's my input. Here's my output, double click there. Again, ammo. And again, I'm going to get rid of the bins. So there's no bins on the input, no bins on the output. Next, I'm going to go down here click on that little um, wheelbarrow or, uh, sorry, minecart like an icon. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna build the track stop first. So come to the build, we come to constructions, track stop. Now it's gonna go from the input on the right to the output on the left. So I want it to go to the left, so I'm gonna click that arrow and then click right in between it. I have to pick what I'm gonna use. I've been making these shale blocks, so I'm gonna build that out of that. Now that's going to go. Now I want to come down to the haul and routes. I've got a lot of them on the list you can see already, but I'm going to create a new one. It's going to drop it to the bottom of my list, Route 15 here. First thing I'm going to click is on this brown square on the track. That's going to make a new stop. I'm going to click right there where I made the other one. Um, and then I want to add a minecart to it. So I've got a lot of minecarts. Come down to one of these iron ones I haven't used yet. So I've done both of those. When I click that first button, what it did is it created this new stop. So I got stop one here. So I want to click the first three buttons on the stop. So the first one here is setting the items. So again, it's ammo. And the way that I'm going to do that is I've got ammo right here. I just click all in the middle here. And now I've got all ammo. Escape out of that. Next one is selecting where it's coming from. So I want the arrow that's pointed towards the minecart. And I'm going to select my input. There we go, got the right one. And then finally I want to go to these, these green symbols. It gets a lot of conditions, get rid of all the conditions. All right, so 
going to escape out of that. So I've got it all built. Now, you don't see anything happening. Why is that? Well, because there's no ammo line around the map for me to worry about. It's because it's all sitting right here, already taken care of. So what I'm going to do is come in here. It's a custom, and I have the ammo. So I'm just going to have the ammo and get rid of it all. So this will no longer be a source for ammo. So now my dwarves think that all this ammo is just lying on the map. And you'll start to see dwarves come up here and grab this all once they get around to it. So there we go. we got dwarves coming in there and grabbing ammo. Go back and take a look. You see dwarves dropping off ammo. And then some dwarves will drop it off and leave it there. Other dwarves came up and pick in the wheelbarrow. And then they'll, they'll drop it into the wheelbarrow automatically and dump it into here. So you can see these stacks are just building up. Uh, which, not to worry, child, he's just getting in the way. So now I've just got stacks of arrows. Uh, five stacks right now. You know, some more coming up. And there it goes. And there's a quantum stockpile.